Hey guys, Andrew Edwards here, Editor-in-Chief of GearLive.com and today I want to talk to you about making your life easier when you buy a new computer. I recently bought a new laptop and one of the most painful things about that process for me is migrating all of my data off of my network backup. It's slow and cumbersome and when all was said and done, it took over six hours for my backup restore to complete. Here in the holiday season, a lot of people are gonna be getting new laptops and new desktops, and I wanna save you guys from the frustration that I experienced. Now, typically for me, when I get a new computer, I want it to be a replica of the machine I'm replacing as far as the data goes. I want all my files, folders, and settings to match my old computer. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to accomplish that using this Western Digital Blue SSD and this inexpensive external hard drive enclosure. Together, these are gonna to allow us to quickly create a backup of our current machine that can then easily be plugged into a new computer to get all that data moved over. Now, I'm a big fan of the Western Digital Blue brand of SSDs because despite being brand new to the market, they're very fairly priced. So you can get a fast, reliable 250 gigabyte SSD for 80 bucks, or get a 500 gigabyte model for $140, or you can go for the top of the line as far as storage goes, one terabyte in storage for $275. Now it should be stated that this is a SATA drive, not PCIe, so you can expect a definite benefit over spinning hard disks, but not the higher bandwidth of the much more expensive PCIe flash drives. So for what we're doing here, we have the perfect balance of both price and speed. And of course, if you wanna pick up one of these SSDs for yourself, I'll leave a link down in the description below. In terms of speed, the WD Blue is definitely able to saturate a SATA connection. And in terms of price, there are so many inexpensive external hard drive enclosures that allow you to take the SSD and turn it into something you can use without having to pop open your computer. You can expect read speeds of up to 545 megabytes per second and write speeds at up to 525 megabytes a second. So let's get started with the process. The first thing we need to do is build our external SSD. And that might sound complicated, but really this is a super simple thing to do. Basically, we take the Western Digital Blue SSD out of the box, then take the enclosure out of its box. Open up the enclosure to reveal the SATA connection and take the WD Blue SSD and connect it to the SATA port. Now simply close the enclosure and you're done. You now have what amounts to an external SSD. That's super fast storage with no moving parts. And again, you can use any SATA compatible external enclosure. The one I used here happens to have a USB-C port and also supports Thunderbolt 3. So you're not really gonna get much faster than this. Now all we need to do is just plug it into our computer and start a backup. And by the way, both Windows and Mac operating systems come with backup software built in. Let the backup run until it's finished and it might take a while depending on how much data you have. Once you've confirmed that your data is where you want it to be, you can go ahead and format this drive, erase everything off of it, and use it as bonus fast storage that can be moved from computer to computer. And quite frankly, that's one of my favorite use cases for SSDs. So there you have it guys, that was your quick look and tutorial about how to use an SSD to quickly back up a system and restore to a new system without taking up half of a day. I wanna send a big shout out to Western Digital for sending over the WD Blue SSD, for sponsoring this video, and for saving me from backup and restore hell. But now I wanna hear from you guys. Feel free to share your backup and or restore nightmares in the comments below, and I'll meet you there for further discussion. Be sure to drop a like on this video if you enjoyed this one, and don't forget to click or tap on my face here in the video in order to subscribe to stay up to date on new future video releases. We've got a lot more coming here in the holiday season. Until next time, thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate the support as always. I'm Andrew Webers, and I'll catch you in the next video.